Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky for those of you guys that are new and teaching you tarot and witchcraft is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. Here we are doing another reading for you and this is something that came up with a consultation uh, with one of my clients. So Susie, if you're watching this, it's for you. <laughs> And the conversation, which by the way, I was told it was okay for me to share, was sometimes in relationships we have difficulty uh, opening up and being completely transparent when it comes to our preference, our desires, our wants in the sexuality aspect. So this is a pick a card reading, as you guys can see. We have the black feather, which is set number one. We have the theme or the knife, set number two, and we have the shell, set number three. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can tune in and see which one is more calling to you, and these are going to be your messages. We're going to look into your personality, your partner's personality, and what they would want to confess to you if they felt comfortable when it comes to the sexuality and connection that you both share. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes, tune into your energies and see what the messages are for all of you. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do like, share and comment on this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, whether it's consultations, readings or any type of spell work, you can find all of that on the description box below. All right, so I'll give you guys a couple of minutes. All right, my lovelies, hopefully you guys have chosen. Like I said, Black Feather is set number one, the knife is set number two, and the shell is set number three. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna pull set number two and set number three back so that we can see what's going on here. We're gonna begin here, obviously, with set number one. And uh, let's get to the needy greeting. This is, hopefully those of you guys that are watching are over 18 okay all right let's begin with your energy here we have the queen of cups and the empress beautiful energy very beautiful okay we're going to see your partner's energy here three of wands and the wheel of fortune okay so what i'm seeing here is you guys have this dynamic of you are very receptive, very much in your feminine energy, regardless of your masculine or female. Um, you're very much in your feminine, your soft, uh, loving, nurturing type, most definitely affectionate. Um, but there is an energy of an energy of not so much spontaneity in the connection or not much risque type of energy. The Empress does speak about seduction and the feminine energy, um, but I feel that with the Queen of Cups, you may seem a bit reserved or come off a bit reserved to your partner, okay? Keep in mind this is, we're reading your energy and we're reading your partner's energy and then we're going to see what the message is if they were able to speak freely. So again, I feel like you're very loving, very nurturing. There is ultimate respect here. So there is some type of respect um, that they see in you or that you carry yourself with a certain type of respect. Now, when we're talking about your partner, the three of wands is very intense, passionate type of energy. It is much more spontaneous. It is much more adventurous is what I'm hearing. And with the wheel of the year, we have a bit of elements combined here. So I feel that in this connection, um, you need to shake things up a little bit, be a little bit more open minded um, because there is a desire to want to explore on your partner side. There is a desire of, again, spontaneity, um, pushing the limits when it comes to uh, sexual connections and relationships with you. So it could be tapping into the fantasy or even asking them, you know, what's your fantasy? What is it something that you always wanted to try or you wanted to do? 
like I said, keeping in mind that you need to be a little bit more open minded um, and a little bit more adventurous. You don't have to necessarily go out and do it in public <laughs> if that's not your thing. But it is being a little bit more spontaneous. So as an example, if you guys have specific days that you guys are intimate, perhaps shaking that up a little bit, perhaps waiting for your partner or when you get off of work, um, surprising them with, with something out of the ordinary or perhaps even costumes and, you know, getting into that fantasy type of energy. This is really going to empower the relationship. This is really going to strengthen the bond. Now, let's see what is it that they would tell you if they felt comfortable enough to open up to you. And we have feeling rejected and I want to taste you. So again, I feel like you're very loving, very affectionate, but there is, you know, what's standing out here is the queen of cups with the shell. So I see like you either haven't really pushed your limits or tried or to be more adventurous with the feeling rejected i feel like in some occasions you have made your partner feel exactly that felt rejected or perhaps you know the routine you were tired when they were trying to come on to you perhaps trying to spice things up you could have have, have a tendency of you know saying well the kids are around or i'm busy or i'm tired type of thing so what they're telling you here if they were able to open up freely without feeling any type of judgment they would tell you that you often make them feel rejected whether it's a female or a male that you're with there is again very intense passionate desire here um on the partner side with the three of wands and the wheel of uh the year and you being much more receptive more in the feminine energy so again, taking into consideration, I understand that sometimes, you know, the everyday type of life keeps us busy. Uh, life just happens. I understand that. But it is important to maintain that sexual connection because it is part of the partnership, part of the bond, part of uh, also maintaining the satisfaction on both sides. So Feeling rejected is something that I would highly encourage you guys to start being a little bit more proactive in the pursuit of um, having relationships with them. For, perhaps for some of you guys, uh, you often are complacent or feel much more comfortable when they're the ones that are initiating. So I would advise for you guys to take the initiative. That's also putting you in the energy of being more spontaneous and perhaps your partner is definitely not used to that so they're definitely going to love that and i want to taste you again being a little bit more open-minded um allowing them to explore every part of your body or you exploring every part of their body as well uh like i said for some of you guys maybe you you know are not necessarily a fan of getting serviced um maybe this is something that they often crave and desire so again when it comes to the bedroom, something I tell my clients all the time, there are no limits, but the limits you set for yourself. And it is important to explore that aspect. Why? Because you want to fulfill your desires, your wants and needs, but you also want to fulfill your partners as well. Having the sexual aspect locked in is definitely going to keep them, um, keep the passion and the flame going. So that would be the advice for those of you guys that chose set number one all right my lovelies now let's go into set number set number two here with the knife let's see let's see um what are the energies oh i got them reversed okay we have the sun the two of wands, wow, very passionate, very intense here. Your partner is the moon and the tower, wow, okay. So you're very lively, obviously, as you guys can see here, there's major, major difference, right? Major transition, light, brightness, joyful, playful, and then we have dark, right? <laughs> dark, night, it's like day and night type of energy so for some of you guys that chose this set you and your partner may be extremely different 
um, not just personality type, not just um, how you carry yourself and your point of view or your views on life, um, but also obviously in the bedroom. And with the sun and the two of wands, you're very intense. For some of you guys, maybe you have a little bit more of a sexual appetite than your partner. You're very proactive in this aspect. Um, but also, it is more so on the superficial. So what I mean by superficial, it's more that has to do with, as an example, when you're craving your partner, you're desiring your partner, you have no problem pursuing them or being the one to initiate. Um, sometimes you often feel disconnected or maybe you feel disconnected with your partner sometimes. And this has more to do with the fact that the reason why they may seem like they're not completely into it or, or like you're more intense than they are has more to do with the lack of connection that they may feel. So whoever chose the set, um, I feel like your partner is very deep. It is very important to make eye contact. It is very important to kind of work your way to that point of being physical. So as an example, you could be the type to just take my clothes off and just take me now. Whereas they are much more deep. They are much more kissing, caressing, getting to the point of that, you know, get or working themselves to the point of actually taking action so that could be what's happening right now with this connection where you feel if you have felt um whether it's now or in the past like there is a bit of disconnect i feel that it has a lot to do with the fact that you guys are very opposites um so again they what they're needing is to really tap deep into you know for some of you guys, this could be like, you know, extreme long foreplay type of energy that the partner is craving or that that's how they, you know, what bet suits them, uh, what their sexual need and desire is. With the moon and the tower, major transformation. So your partner can see, um, they can see intimacy, right and being sexual with each other as exactly that intimacy whereas you don't necessarily have to feel the deep connection when you're wanting to you you take action right um but try the best you can to try to uh get to the point of like you know taking your time basically um because with the moon it is very emotional there is a need for emotional connection to be able to be explosive right you have no problem being explosive. Um, I feel like your partner may struggle in getting to that point, And the reason for it is because there is a need to really feel connected. They need to feel emotionally connected to be able to have the, the, the orgasmic experience, basically. So as an example, if you are, you know, or have a tendency of like doing quickies or um, like I said, taking the initiative, try the best you can to really focus in every, you know, kissing and caressing, really making them feel like you're not just taking them. You're not just using their body. Um, and you're going to have a much more deeper and more meaningful experience, even for you, because they will long to, um, they will long and desire to satisfy you because, you being satisfied is also very satisfying to them, if that makes sense. It's almost like because of that emotional connection, because of that looking into each other's eyes and taking your time and kissing and caressing really gets their really gets the ball rolling, you know, uh, and then you can, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, type of type of energy, right, which is what you enjoy. Um, but I feel like really tapping into even dark fantasies, like um, being tied up or, um, you know, working yourself up to, uh, as an example, what would come to mind would be like um, bondage and stuff like that could be something that they're really into not saying that they've done it if if they haven't tried that with you maybe it's something that on their in their subconscious that they crave that is in their 
desire. Um, so really being more open to that. And like I said, um, when it comes to actually having physical intimacy, it's ex exactly that. It's important to them, the intimacy. So even role playing is something that uh, speaks very deeply about intimacy why because you feel comfortable with your partner uh creating scenes and scenarios where yes it's fantasy but also the the trusting each other and being open um and and, and making them feel accepted without feeling like they're being judged or critiqued um is definitely going to better and help uh, stabilize and even strengthen the passion and the connection in this relationship. Now, let's see what they would tell you if they didn't feel any type of judgment. And we have plain heart to get and romantic sex. So this is exactly what I'm sensing, you guys. Like, you guys are on the polar opposite sphere. Plain heart to get. Um, you know, again, we talk about role playing. Uh, we talk about, you know, making it a little bit make prolonging the aspect of the physical intimacy by creating scenarios by creating foreplay by just connecting with each other and taking the time having some wine seducing is very important in this connection so it's not just about the rushing you know so try the best you can to role play you know um Romantic sex is something that is obviously any in anyone's, you know, in the human, um, the nature of humans is obviously sexuality is a very important part. And with that, when you feel accepted by your partner instead of judged or critique for them feeling comfortable sharing certain things with you, um, it creates a stronger bond. As an example, I have clients that are very reserved, that are very, you know, they don't really necessarily like uh, to talk about, you know, the sexual aspect of their relationship. But when they've shared with me, you know, um, that their partner, as an example, told them that they had a fantasy, they were quick to say, oh, you know, I would never do that. Or why are you thinking that? Did you see that somewhere? Or have you tried that with another partner that you were with? It's automatic judgment because that's how they're feeling. If they're coming to you and being honest and open about their desires and you're quick to either judge them or assume that they've done that with other people or whatever the situation may be, what you're actually doing is you're closing the door to them feeling comfortable enough to open up to you. Because believe it or not, a partner that's willing to tell you what their sexual needs are is very important. At least, you know, it's very important uh, to know, right? What it is that they want, what it is that they desire, the way you would want them to know what you want and what you desire. So when they are openly being transparent with you about their fantasies or their desires, instead of judging and critiquing and shutting the door down because next time they're not going to tell you, um, then we suppress that need and that desire. And suppressing is not good because it often leads to cheating, right? So again, um, it's about really allowing your partner to feel comfortable to open up to you or to tell you the desires and wants that they have and you playing with it instead of like quickly going to the negative and assuming that they've done it or etc. Um, so again, the advice here would be to be more open and accepting and you as well, feeling comfortable and open enough to be transparent with your partner about what your wants and desires are. All right, my lovelies. All right, now moving on to set number three here with the shell. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If you guys like these readings, definitely like, share, and comment below. Let me know so that I can keep them coming. All right, so we have here the Two of Pentacles and the Strength card. Very intense, passionate type of energy here. Partner, King of Wands, and the World card. Hmm, interesting. All right. So what I'm seeing here is for those of you guys that chose set number three, I feel like there are two sides to you. And for some of you guys, you may be holding back or perhaps have held back in the past when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to your experiences or what you want. Um, 
because the two of pentacles speaks about an imbalance and next to the strength card there's a lot of passion there's a lot of you know a lot of desire a lot of intensity here so your desires and your passions are unstable so for some of you guys it could be that you're holding back or that there's been a major shift in regards to how active you guys are like how physical you are so you could have gone from like making love every single day to like once in a blue moon um so there is a lot of pent up passion and desire for some of you guys it could be that you are dealing with a person that may be a bit older than you um that they are currently going through some type of transition um like menopause and stuff like that uh, where right now there's been like a major decline in the physical connection and not opening up and not speaking about that has created a bit of tension in this relationship um, or it could be you it could be you that you went from like having sex every single day to giving it to them like every Friday night or something like that like there is a major a, a, a major shift that happened where it was constant and then it became um not so constant and very rare um and i feel like the more you pent up or the more you don't speak about your needs and desires the more there's going to be miscommunication in this connection now in regards to your partner king of wands and the world card does lead me to believe that you're dealing with a person that is older a person that is going through some type of transition um that they're not as proactive as they were at some point but understanding that there is still ways i mean intimacy is intimacy doesn't have to just be that as long as they are being able to fulfill or you're able to fulfill their needs and vice versa um of course we all go through certain aspects in our lives obviously where there is a decline right um but intimacy is still intimacy it could be the desire and the want to be to to feel that you're being held that they desire you that they still need you that they still crave you um i feel like there is a major transition here so for some of you guys it could be that you guys are um like i said dealing with an older person for others of you it could be that you just became accustomed to the not really being too physical but it has created you know it's suppressing your desires here with the two of pentacles so my advice would be to have an open conversation about okay is it something that is it because we're no longer connecting or is it because there are certain type of health concerns or certain type of issues you know dealing with problems can often affect not just the female but the male as well on a mental state meaning if they're not mentally in in that and they're dealing with a lot they may not be able to perform the way they did before so again it's about being open and having that conversation is it medical issues because if it is medical issues and they don't feel comfortable being honest with you here you are thinking that they are rejecting you or that they're not desiring you no more but in reality it's because their body is physically changing right now so it's about having that open conversation where do we go from here how can we make it better how can we um still be intimate with each other and not feel like it's a chore you know what i mean um that's really something that's coming through but i feel like there is a major there was a major like decline in the physical aspect and like i said if you're on the other hand and you feel like yeah i've noticed my partner's not really being that sexually active with me and you're not speaking about it or you're not addressing it your doubts fears start to come in and it may not have anything to do with that because what i'm seeing here with the world and the king of wands it's speaking to me about a physical transition so um like i said being menopausal or going through that you know dealing with the fact that maybe they're not able to maintain their arousal etc so again be honest and be transparent with each other now what we have here is submit to me and obsess with you so again i feel very strongly like those of you guys that chose this set there was intense connection or intense sexual activity within this relationship but there was a major decline 
So I feel like you guys can still get to that point and because they're obviously still desiring you, they're still wanting you, the connection, the passion is there. I just feel like you guys are being reserved about addressing that subject or that conversation. And submit to me could be the ultimate desire, right, for for maybe with the strength card, maybe you have issues with like wanting to be the one in control and their desire, what they really want or what they, you know, desire from you at this point is to be sexually submitted or submissive to them in the bedroom. So especially those of you guys that chose this set and you're a woman and you have a tendency of having a very strong personality, maybe shake it up a bit. Maybe once in a while, allow them to be the dominant one. Um, it doesn't matter if you're female or masculine, but I feel more strongly if you are a female and you vibrate more from a masculine energy, it could be that they feel disconnected because they often feel like you're the one that is always in control, like in the everyday life and also in the bedroom. And that could be kind of boring and that can be kind of, you know, mundane. It becomes everyday type of thing so again maybe playing the role of being a little bit more submitted or submissive to them um is going to really create more passion and more desire on their side on their part okay my lovelies all right i hope you guys enjoyed these readings if you did let me know so that i can keep them coming for you guys and um i will try the best i can to uh, let you guys know that these are over 18 uh readings Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.